What's up guys, Sile here, and I'm hopefully going to be introducing a new series to Ace Games TV, depending on whether you guys like it or want it to continue. And basically what it's going to be is, it's going to be aimed at YouTubers or people who want to start YouTube, um, and it's going to be hopefully to help you create better videos and help you get onto the scene and, you know, start making videos and make them really high quality and things like that. So this is going to be more aimed at the gaming side of YouTube, and I'm going to be covering things like videos and audio and just general tips and tricks just to help you improve your videos. So there's a few things that take or take out of you to, to be a good YouTuber such as having good quality commentary. Now that's more of a thing that comes with time and practice. But there's something you should be able to achieve within your, th uh, your first video. And that is general video quality such as the, the video is HD and doesn't have black bars and it's readable and like clear to see, it's not pixelated. And the audio is, is clear to listen to, there's no really loud noises, there's no like high-pitched hissing. You know, just a good clear video that people can enjoy to watch. As I always tell people, try and create a video that you would watch yourself. So I wouldn't go to a high-quality YouTuber and watch a video with a giant black box around it because that would be unprofessional and un it wouldn't be very good quality. So try and produce something you'd want to watch yourself. That's the biggest tip I can get or give. And the first thing we're going to be working on today is um, audio quality. Now this is going to be using the program called Audacity. And I absolutely love this program because it's free, first of all. And it allows you to do everything you'd need to do. Um, I record like 99% of my commentaries using this program. Because it's just very uh, simple to use, it's low, it like doesn't use much to run. So it's very lightweight and just works very well. You don't need all these crazy features that the paid programs use, such as Goldwave. Audacity does everything you'll need for the time being. So at the moment you can probably hear like a, a background noise from a microphone, like a... Um, that's my PC fan, and usually this is edited out. But for the sake of this video, I can't currently edit it out because I need to use Audacity for um, showing you guys how to use it. So just kind of bear with it for now, and I'll mute my microphone when um, I'm trying to show you the difference in uh, audio quality. So this is what Audacity will look like once it's installed and sort of up and running now. Yours might look slightly different. I'm using a bit of an older version, but this will pretty much be it. It's very lightweight. It's very easy to use. And I think there's a bit of an initial setup, but this is what we're going to be running with. This is just imagine this is how it looks. So first of all, you need to select your microphone, and we're going to be using my Blue Yeti, so we're going to select that. And next, we're going to select the output. So you've got mono or stereo. Now mono is one like single channel, and stereo is dual channel. So I'll show you. So what's up, guys? Sila here, just testing. So as you'll see, it's on one line, and then if we switch it to stereo. What's up guys, Sila here with some testing. It goes to two lines. So depending on what type of microphone and stuff you're using will depend on which one you use. Now I find the better results are with mono for my microphone, so that's what I'm going to be using in this video. But if you feel you need something different, then just go with that. Next we're going to go to edit and preferences. And recording, we can change the, um, sorry, if we go to quality, you can change the output. I use 44,100 hertz. You can increase this or decrease this. I find that's a, a good point for in terms of quality. So next up, we're going to record some footage, and we're going to be like, "What's up, guys? Sila here with a test video, just to test out some audio and all that jazz." So I'm going to mute my microphone while we play this back, just so you can hear the the background noise. So bear with me a minute. What's up guys, Sila here with a test video just to test out some audio and all that jazz. So as you probably heard from that, there was still that sort of humming noise from my PC, which you, you don't really want in the video. Some people have louder noises, some people have quieter noises, so I'm going to be showing you how to edit that out. So what we're going to do is go to the end of the clip and we're just going to record silent. So don't say a word, don't do anything, just try and be as silent as possible but keep your microphone on so it can record the background noise. So 
So a few seconds is generally enough. I, I like to record a good amount so I can use the middle portion, which is just pure noise. There's no bangs, no mouse clicks, there's nothing. So we're going to drag my mouse and select a portion of this clip that's got no sound in it, just the, the background noise. And then next up we're going to go to effects, noise removal, and get noise profile. So now that selection of a section of clip is what we want to remove, the noise that we just don't want in the video. So we're going to select the whole clip by doing Control A, and that'll highlight the whole clip. And then we're going to go to Effects again, Noise Removal, and this time we're going to press OK. So before we press uh, Get Noise Profile, this time we're just going to press OK. And these general settings are usually good enough, so we'll just leave that. And as you'll notice, that bar is a lot more flat now. So we're going to play the video again, I'm going to mute my microphone, and hopefully you can tell the difference. What's up guys, Sila here with a test video just to test out some audio and all that jazz. I started recording then instead of playing, but if you could hear there wasn't the, the humming noise, so I'll go back to the previous version just so you can hear that. Um, under record, under noise removal. So let's play this once more. What's up guys, Sila here with a test video just to test out some audio and all that jazz. What's up guys, Sila here with a test video just to test out some audio and all that jazz. you've seen quite a big difference like the the background sound is pretty much completely gone yeah there's still mouse clicks and knocks from myself but they're things that you just can't help just try not to do them um, but it completely removes out the background noise so any hissing or PC fans or anything like that that you've got in the video that just make it sound less professional you can remove very easily and very quickly using this program so now that we're happy with the clip what we're gonna do is go to file and export and then we're going to type in whatever and then click save. Now I generally save in WAV and then we'll be able to use this clip, drag it straight into my um, editing software and then record. So what I'd recommend doing is turning off Fraps audio. So turn off your, sorry, the Fraps microphone. So make Fraps not pick up your microphone and then use Audacity to record your commentaries. And hopefully that will give you a generally better um, commentary like quality. So let me know if you enjoy this and let me know if you want me to carry on doing other things such as uh, editing, editing software, frap setup and just general stuff like that. So thanks for watching guys, look out for more videos coming soon, see ya!